I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Super GoBots Renegade Destroyer, and I love this toy. Originally released in 1984, he retailed for approximately $8 to $10, depending on where you got him. And as you can see here, he is a tank. Now, I'm not sure uh, what kind of tank this is. Admittedly, I was in a tank unit in the army. Uh, I was not a tanker, I was the armor. Um, so I'm familiar with some tanks. I'm not familiar with all tanks. And this is a, I would guess, this is a World War II era uh, foreign tank. So I'm not sure what, to, I, I don't want to say, oh, this looks like this tank or that tank because I know there's tank aficionados out there who would be very upset. Uh, so if you know what kind of tank that's based on, leave me a comment and uh, let me know. Um, yeah, so <laughs> he came, <laughs> this is the box that he came in. He came packaged with uh, two turrets. So the turret is removable. So you can actually pick which turret you want to give him. So usually I give him this one. This thinner one is the one that I like to keep on the actual tank itself. I think I got that backwards. And I like to leave this one off to the side. You'll see why when we get to the robot mode. So we'll just leave that off to the side. He also came with a sheet of instructions. And this is the box that he came in. Now, you might be noticing that my copy here is missing the threads. This is very, very common, a three-minute search on the internet. It looks like, uh, and, and I've looked for this before when I first got this figure. I've had this figure for a few years now. Um, the threads, the actual tank threads were made of rubber, and they just have not survived. And if you look in my box, I got my copy was boxed when I got it, and you can see Every single bit of my tank threads are in there. It, they just, they're made of rubber and they just disintegrated. And it doesn't look like, just doing a quick search online, it doesn't look like any of them have survived uh, the test of time. So, yeah, it, it doesn't really affect the playability of the toy. You can still roll with it. Uh, you can still play with it. It transforms just fine. A robot f mode is just fine. Um, it's just an aesthetic thing that the tank threads are missing. It, it's unfortunate. It would be cool if somebody made reproductions. I would jump all over that and, and, and buy a set of reproductions for this if they were available. But uh, as it is, I don't think there are any surviving copies, at least none that are pictured online uh, that I could find. So there's that. Let's take a quick look at the box. You can see artwork right there. You can see him in tank mode. You can see him in, in, in robot mode in kind of an intermediate uh, mode, which is really neat. And we're going to look at that as we go into the transformation. Got the open flap right there. So you can see the little bio right there for not a little bio. It's kind of like a story uh, to what the GoBots uh, are all about. You can see pictures of the of the figure here, both in robot mode and in vehicle mode, and then just kind of like an in-between modes, as if he was transforming. He does come packaged in robot mode, and he does have a window box right there, so you'd be able to see him through there in his little uh, styrofoam insert. Same artwork on the top. You got some cross cells here on the side. You got Zod right there. You got the command center right there. Command center, we have reviewed the command center. Link to that right there. And then along the back, you've got instructions on how to transform them. And along with a couple of cross cells for some other Super GoBots right there. Tank mode is approximately four inches long, five and a half if you go from the back of it all the way to the front of the turret right here. And he's about two inches, two and a half inches tall, something like that. Uh, like I said, he rolls just fine, even though he doesn't have threads. He rolls just fine. The turret can go all the way around. And this piece right here can actually move up and down. It does have a little click that he does. So I don't know if that's supposed to simulate like he's firing or what, but it does that. Now the turret is spring-loaded. It does move up and down. And that's really more for uh, to accommodate the uh, transformation than anything else. Going all the way around, the details on this guy are really, really neat. A lot of die-cast, nice, solid figure right there. Real quick comparison, here he is with fellow renegade Psycho, so you can see what the two of them look like together. So, transformation for this guy. Let's move the camera up a little bit one more time. You don't have to do this. This is just something that I'm doing because it's an old toy. 
and they can be fragile and I just like to be careful, I'm gonna remove the turret. Again, you don't have to, you can transform them without removing the turret. Oh no, parts forming. You don't have to do that. That's just something that I like to do. Turn the turret to a side, any side, it doesn't matter. We're gonna grab the tank right here by the center and we're gonna pull it away from the tank threads and we're gonna just pull this whole thing up and over like that and then close that up. And we're gonna reach back here to this little panel back here, just reach in here and open this. And then we're gonna take the arms and we're gonna flip these out. And then we'll go ahead and close that back up again. Extend the arms out from inside the biceps right there. And then straighten out the head. So let's stop right here. We're gonna go ahead and give him his turret one more time. And this is that in-between in, in mode that you saw right there in the package. And uh, check this out. This is really cool because it kind of gives him like a, a top half of a robot sitting on tank thread so he can actually roll. And I absolutely love that concept. Now, bringing in that other, um, that other turret, you notice that the side of the arms have a little peg hole right there. So I got this side is missing a sticker. So this is the side that I like to use. And you can just stick that right there. So he has a turret for a face but he also has a gun arm, a turret arm right there, which I think is super neat. So that's kind of like your in-between mode right there. And that's just really neat. I absolutely love that you get that option. That is really cool play feature right there. So now if you want to make them completely bipedal, we'll go ahead and take the bottom of the tank threads right here and just rotate these down. And then we're going to slide them forward right here from the base and then pull down the foot. So same thing over here, we'll turn this down, slide it forward, turn out the foot, and there you have Destroyer in his bipedal robot mode, and he just looks absolutely awesome. Standing at approximately six inches tall and just kind of going all the way around so you can see what it looks like. It's, you know, this is a, a, a real departure from the Super GoBots that we are used to seeing, right? A very completely different transformation, um, an intermediate mode between the vehicle and the robot. So you kind of have an in-between mode right there and uh, just a completely different aesthetic to what we're used to with the, let's call it the average Super GoBot, like like Psycho and Zemon and, 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 and the likes of those guys. Um, this is just a very, uh, the, just a departure from that. And it's just very, very, it keeps everything very interesting. As you can see, the fact that the threads are missing have not affected this figure at all. He stands just fine. He looks just fine. So it's unfortunate that the threads have not survived, um, but you know, it doesn't affect this figure. It's still a cool figure to get and to add to your collection. Articulation wise, the head can still rotate. This is still the turret, so you can still rotate this thing all the way around. Here's that spring load that I was telling you about, so he can go up and down a little bit. And of course, you can still move this turret up and down some. Arms can move forward and backwards. They can go all the way around. And then he's got a hinge right here at the elbow, so you can bend his arms. Got little claw arms right there, so not really anything you're going to do there. No ways to speak of. You can kind of kick forward and back a little bit. And again, that's really kind of due to transformation, but you're not going to get any poses out of him. Uh, because if you do that, then he gets off balance. <laughs> he's just going to fall. So, uh, yeah, he's going to stand there and look awesome. A couple of quick comparisons. Here he is with, uh, oh, it's all, all about the Renegades today. Here he is with fellow Renegade Psycho. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And, that, you know, that, that's just what I meant by, you know, your, your, your quote-unquote, your average uh, Super GoBot. The guys that look all like this, right? So, uh, very cool departure from that right there. Very, very fun. And that's what the two of them look like together. And real quick, here he is with Super Psykill. So you can see what the two of them look like together. It kills me how much shorter Psykill is than all of the other Renegade Super Gobots. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Uh, so there you go. That is Super Gobots Renegade Destroyer. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think you're going to find, you're going to be very hard-pressed to find a copy with a surviving set of, of rubber threads um, that being said, it, it is unfortunate. That being said, it doesn't really affect the figure other than aesthetics. The tank mode still rolls and it doesn't affect the robot mode at all. Uh, even the intermediate mode, you can still roll with that and, and he looks just fine. He's a very cool, menacing looking figure, a very fun figure. 
in a fantastic addition uh, to your GoBots collection. And I think that about does it for the Super GoBots Renegade Destroyer. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.